Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video, we are going to study the concept of divisibility. And here's my definitions here. We are going to study these three words, multiple factor and divisible. A number A is divisible by some other number B if the division A divided by B is exact. And then, in that case, if it is so, then we also say that B is a factor of A and then that A is a multiple of B. This will make much more sense when I give you some examples. So here's an example. 24 divided by 4 equals 6. That's an exact division, right? And 24 divided by 6 equals 4, of course. Two exact divisions. So 24 is divisible by 4. And 24 is divisible by 6, too. Okay? Because the divisions were exact. And since that is the case, we can write a multiplication. 4 times 6 equals 24. And from that we can learn that 4 and 6 are factors of 24. Okay? It is, you may remember that in a multiplication like this, the numbers you multiply are called factors. And specifically they are factors of 24. 4 is a factor of 24 and so is 6. So when we fill this in, 24 is divisible by 4. Here, divisible and by 6. And then uh, two numbers here are factors of 24, 4 and 6. 24 is, and now it's the last word we are learning, multiple. 24 is a multiple of 4 and of 6. Think of this word multiple this way. That when you multiply 4 times something, such as 4 times 5, you get 20. 4 times 6, you get 24. 4 times 7, you get 28. You're multiplying 4 so many times. All the answers you get are multiples of 4, okay? So actually, the numbers that are multiples of 4 start like this. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32. It's the multiplication table of 4, actually. All of those are multiples of 4. And then multiples of 6 would be whenever you multiply something times 6. You might have 5 times 6, or 15 times 6, or 2,400 times 6, okay? But multiples of 6 would be the, the multiplication table of 6, those numbers that are in the skip counting pattern by 6. 6 and 12 and 18, 24, 30, 36 and so on. Those are multiples of 6, because you multiplied 6 by something to get them. Now, is 55 divisible by 8? How do you check? Well, you check by dividing and checking if the division is exact. So 55 divided by 8. Now, it's not going to be exact, no, because 56 would be divisible by 8. 56 divided by 8 equals 7. So, this is actually 6, and then we have a remainder of 7. So, therefore, no, it is not divisible. You got a remainder in a division and not an exact division. Is 6 a factor of 54? Okay. Now, can I write something times 6 equals 54? Can I do this? Find a number here? Yes, I can. 9 times 6, right? So, here I have now a multiplication, and 6 is a factor here. So, yes, 6 is a factor of 54. And so it's 9. 9 is a factor of 54, too. Is 32 a multiple of 5? Okay, now multiples of 5 are those numbers that you get in the multiplication table of 5, right? 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. And so 32 is not in that list. 32 is not a multiple of 5. And you can explain it, give your reason in many different ways. No, because 32 is not in the skip counting pattern by 5s. Or you could say, no, because... There is no such number that something times 5 would be 32. No, because there is not any whole number n, so that n times 5 would be 32. Okay? We cannot find any such n.